Traders, I'm done for the day and I want to talk today about one of the biggest mistakes uh, traders made and tell you what I haven't done this mistake for <laughs> many years. Today I did, I did. Look at the result of this mistake. It's right here on the charts now. You can see my AMD trade down almost 20 grand. I started today with a big loser in AMD and a big loser in NTS. I was down $27,000 and the result today I'm up $8,000. I don't know if it was luck. I don't know if it was, um, I mean, just whatever found a better better trade. Definitely uh, Futu worked out uh, beautifully well. So did Baba. Uh, maybe combination of uh, luck, knowledge, whatever. But I don't want to talk about my good trades. I want to talk about my losing trade in AMD. Now take a look at AMD here. I decided today it's going to go higher. Why? Because the daily looks great. Daily does look great. I mean, forget about this red candle. It wasn't red when I was trading it. It was in fact green. So it looks like it's uptrending. It looks very nice. Um, it was on my daily picks. I really liked it. I decided AMD should move higher today. And uh, the market was moving lower, but it was kind of early. And, you know, the market changes direction after 10, 15, 20 minutes or so. I thought I should give it a chance. And, you know, till now, everything's OK. That's I took the trade. It's fine. It was trending higher. At some point, it moved over the highs. I had a winner and then it started coming down. At that point, I got stuck inside the trade. I did not want to leave the trade. That's a huge mistake that uh, normally novice traders make. I mean, I, it just came back to me once, once I was trading AMD. I had this ancient feelings about what used to happen so many years ago when I felt like I'm trapped in a trade that's going the wrong way. Well, I did not do the capital mistake of adding to a losing trade. That I did not do. If I would have done that, look at what, have, what would have been the result. I mean, take a look at the way AMD came down five minute candles. Just never ever add to a losing trade. That's an even bigger mistake, but don't get trapped in a trade without a stop loss. Now, I should have stopped here. That was my original stopping point around 93. And then it came under the lows. And then I was feeling like I'm already having a very big losing trade. Should I wait for a five minute uh, pullback candle, which did not come. Look, it just did not come. Look at this five minute candle here. And then the red candle just, I mean, maybe sent over. And then another green candle that's not really a pullback. That's not a really, uh, I mean, I don't know if you can call it five minute reversals, but actually didn't come much. And of course, if you look at the S&P and the Nasdaq, you can see that uh, uh, both of them uh, came down rather strong. Maybe now we have some kind of a pullback, but basically uh, we saw the market, especially the Nasdaq coming down, coming down very, very strong. And my feeling at that point where I was trapped in that trade was that I just can't move out. I am having a huge loser and I can't click the button. Now, do you guys remember this feeling? I mean, if you, if you, I had lots of these trades when I started out. I had lots of these trades when I was like trapped in the trade and I felt like I'm already having such a huge loser and I don't, can't, I can't move out. I really can't move out. You know, I was paralyzed. I couldn't move out of this trade. Yes, you do. Okay. <laughs> How many of you guys have that? If you don't mind sharing. Well, I, 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 I forgot about how it feels. I remembered today. You do? <laughs> All of you. I just remembered how it is because, you know, uh, it took me a really, really long time to remember what uh, uh, the, the way I behaved many years ago. And it just reminds me. And every once in a while, we need to get some kind of reminder. You know, when I started out, I was doing a lot of mistakes, several mistakes per day. Now I'm making several mistakes per week. I'm still making mistakes. Everybody makes mistakes. Even experienced traders keep on making mistakes. Just I don't do the same number of mistakes that I used to do. And this not having a stop loss was definitely one of the big mistakes I used to do many years in the past. I think if I look back at past week, I think I was kind of lucky with some stocks. 
also tomorrow, yesterday, sorry, that worked out well. I didn't, I waited for a little bit longer period. I think it was also Baba. I was waiting a little bit more and then finally it worked out my way and so on. So I, I got a little bit encouraged by a uh, kind of feeling that, uh, well, maybe, maybe I, I, I <laughs> it's going to turn. Maybe I'm going to have a winner. I mean, AMD was strong. I started convincing myself maybe the market now is going to move higher. Maybe AMD just closed the gap. Maybe, 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 maybe. I shouldn't be there. I should have a stop loss. That's it. You want to take another trade? Fine, take another trade. But I should have had my stop loss. I got a slap on my face and the slap on my face reminded me I shouldn't do that. So yeah, 21 years of trading, I'm still getting better. I'm learning. It never stops. Well, that's it for me today. Thank you for joining. Thank you guys on YouTube for being with us. And uh, see you all tomorrow. Bye, traders. Mayor, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Sleep well, my friend. We'll see you in the morning. Thank you. And traders, uh, I have a similar story. I mean, uh, my big thing was I would turn, and this is a great coined phrase I have, I turned uh, my day trade into an investment. And that was from not adhering to a stop loss. That was from adding potentially to a loser. And I always say this, if you've been training with me, if you've been mentoring with me, that your first loss is always your best loss. And in the case today, when Mayor and I took the trade and uh, AMD, I had a stop loss in mind. Mayor had a stop loss in mind. If I would have acted on my very first stop loss, I could have saved myself, I don't know what, $2,500 on my trade. And I'm sure Mayor would have saved himself, you know, 10 grand or so. So it's uh, it's amazing. And, and you, you don't adhere to it. And, and again, I, I will tell you the same thing as Mayor said. My mistakes are few and far between now, but they're still there. I still get the greed. I still have all those emotions that all of you traders have on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, it just goes to show you we're, we're, we're normal. <laughs> we're normal people. Uh, there's nothing nothing different about Mayor and I and, 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 and or yourself. And, and I think, Scott, we, we, we kind of right? encouraged our, ourselves, both of us. I mean, I <laughs> I feel like I encouraged you to stay in the trade and you gave me the feeling that you, you yeah. agree. And, you know, we kind of play the game together, which was totally stupid, of course. Yeah, it, it, but you know what? It, the you know When you trade with somebody else, and, and traders, some of you may trade with a partner in your trading room or, or wherever you're at, um, you, you know, it can encourage bad behavior, it can encourage good behavior, uh, and as Mayor said that, when I looked at the chart, when Mayor was talking about that, we did have the breakout. If you looked at the chart on the AMD uh, trade today, we did have the breakout. We took it right at the top. Unfortunately, we took it at the break of 94, and it just it bounced to its high and then shot right back down for whatever reason it wanted to do that. Thought we'd get a bounce at the VWAP. We didn't. Waited some more. It just turned into a big loser. And, and fortunately for both of us, we turned a red day green still because of our other trades. So, well, um, Combination don't, don't of don't luck and some opportunities. Yeah. Very See true. you all tomorrow. Very Bye, true. traders. Okay, take care, Mayor. We'll see you tomorrow. Enjoy.